about one o'clock on Sunday, April 14th, out here at Shenandoah National Park for a quick solo overnight. Doing Cedar Run, White Oak, and Hawksbill. I'm saving Hawksbill for tomorrow. It's a little overcast, it's drizzling a little bit. Everything's pretty much fogged in. So my thought process on deciding to do the trail this way and not hiking out from the perimeter like I originally planned is to see the falls on a rainy day, on an overcast day, and then save the views for tomorrow when it's supposed to be clear. It's not a guarantee, but at this point, the only thing I can guarantee is that I wasn't gonna see anything today. So hopefully it works out. There's a lot of blowdowns in the park still from the winter. Uh, high winds, ice, a lot of different storms. We're trying to keep track of when the South District is gonna open up again officially, full blown open. Uh, it's gonna be a while. This is just kind of what the park looks like now. Tons of blowdowns everywhere. A lot of widow makers still hanging up in trees. So if you have a chance to get out, I suggest coming to Shenandoah altogether. But South District, if you want to get alone and get by yourself, it's definitely the best. This is great too. This is a Sunday, a rainy kind of Sunday. I haven't seen many people out. Thanks for coming along with me. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Share the channel, share the video. Help me spread the word on the Hawkeye hikes. Now I can see the mountains. This is what I'm talking about. That fresh mountain there. Trail to myself. Can't be beat. All right, sitting right now, not because I feel like I need to take a break, just because I bit it pretty hard coming down these rocks. If you do do this trail, I recommend something sturdy with an aggressive tread. I'm wearing the Ultra Lone Peak 3.5s and they're a little beat up. I've had them for about a year. Uh, I'm starting to lose tread on them a little bit. So I'm looking for a new shoe, something comparable. So if you have a recommendation, let me know in the comments below. starting to rain a little bit. Saw a couple flashes of lightning, nothing too crazy. I knew there were scattered thunderstorms and isolated thunderstorms in the forecast, but can't really do anything about it. I can pick the day that I go, but I can't pick the weather, unfortunately. But it's good to be out here. Very quiet. It's absolutely perfect.
starting to rain a little heavier now. Uh, it's kind of dark, but it's actually only 3.30. So hopefully the rain passes. If not, it is what it is. Saw a couple more people on the trail. People seem to be in a hurry to get out of here. I don't know, maybe they know something I don't know. All right, I imagine that place gets crazy busy in the summertime or on a nice day, and I have that entire waterfall to myself. No place I'd rather be. That was totally worth it. Can't wait to see what's next. Another thing I think is worth mentioning is to invest in a waterproof mat. This is just a Nat Geo mat, but it's waterproof. It's tearproof. I've been on hikes, long three, four day hikes where I've had a printout or a map that wasn't waterproof and it's rain and I've opened up my pocket or my pack and I've just had a blank piece of paper. So it is worth the extra couple bucks because you don't wanna be in that type of situation where you don't know how far your next stop is. Found this little rock outcrop that I can sit under, wait out the storm a little bit. Not that it matters because I'm already wet, but uh, trail's a little hard to walk on with the moving water on it and all the slick stones. So if the water's not moving and I can see where I'm stepping, I stand a better chance of not falling on my butt for the third or fourth time today. Can't say that I've missed the rain, but I've been pretty fortunate this past year and I feel like I'm probably due for a little bit of rain, so it is what it is, like I said earlier. Uh, looks like the sun might be peeking out over there, but uh, last time I said that, that, the exact opposite happened, so we'll see. This is a nice little spot that I'll grab a snack and a quick drink of water, just chill for a minute. Took a nice water break, had a snack, was able to wring out my shirt, so now it's not soaked, it's just damp. Doesn't keep raining hard, it'll probably be dry, Definitely by tomorrow morning, I'm hoping. Like I said, I can't say it enough. Waterproof map, it's where it's at. I haven't really had to use the map too much because the trail's been well marked. But just knowing that it's not damaged and I can hold it in my hand and not have to worry about it running, it's pretty good. All right, I think I made it to the top. Or close, I could be wrong. Great view. So it's quarter to six right now, it's still raining. I'm looking to be set up camp in my tent drying off, hopefully in the next hour, if I can. Uh, gotta find a good spot, just set up, hang my bear bag, grab a bite to eat, throw my food in the bag, tie it off, get some sleep, just chill out, wake up in the morning. Hopefully it's a little bit more pleasant I can take in some of those Shenandoah views I've been looking forward to. So you might have been watching this wondering why the hell doesn't this guy put his raincoat on? Well, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's pretty warm outside. It's still probably in the mid 60s, high 60s. And I have the uh, Outdoor Research Helium 2, which is great. But one thing I think that it lacks is pit zips. So when it's hot and it's damp like this and you already have some dampness on it, you start moving, then I cook in that thing. So. I usually save that for cold rains, light rains. Uh, I use it as a chill, keep the wind off me, and just like an extra layer when it's really cold. So I do have it, I just didn't put it on today. And that's the reason why. I'm on the Crescent Rock Trail right now. Rain's not really letting up. Thunder's starting to be a little more close together. 
I haven't seen too much lightning yet. It might be just, you know, the heat thunder rolling off the mountains. So I'm taking this trail. I'm actually passing my car by 0.1 mile. So I'm thinking I might call the trip short. The only thing I had to do tomorrow was wake up and walk, you know, half a mile to the view. Hawksville Summit, which is cool and it's something I still want to do. But I'm never a fan of sleeping out in the rain for the sake of sleeping out in the rain. Pretty confident I'll call it. There's a there's an outlook up here. I'm gonna take a look, see if I can see anything. It's not like I'm gonna get more wet at this point. All right, well, I'm here at the view and it's about as good as I expected. Pretty sure I'm gonna call it quits on this trip. Do me a favor, drop a comment, let me know about a time you fell down a little bit early. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram, and as always, you heard it here first.